Hey, Merry Christmas, Paul Ridgeway, and we're going to be back with Dr. Rob Wolf in a little bit. But, you know, there's a very, very special concert coming up. And the one thing nice about Christmas is there's plenty of great concerts. And one of them is coming up. And uh, we're going to have Johnny uh, Diaz on later, uh, who is a great uh, musician and wrote More Beautiful You. A lot of other songs have won awards. But, uh, oh, it's Mike Minnick. Oh, it's Mike Minnick. Oh, Mike, God bless. Hey, this concert, first of all, why don't you talk about the World Servants, who they are, and your concert was called Serving Joy All Over the World. That's uh, next Thursday, December 18th at Grace Church. But first of all, tell us again about World Servants, would you? Sure, Paul. You know, World Servants has been around since 1986, so we are a short-term mission-sending agency that sends teams of people from churches and businesses, families, uh, children of all ages to uh, the developing world and certainly even to domestic locations here in Appalachia and the Native American communities to uh, really be a development organization or a redevelopment organization that helps these communities get back on their feet or on their feet in some way, shape, or form that ultimately, Paul, comes in, in the terms that these communities want, not what, what we as Westerners and as Americans say, hey, you need a uh, a fancy restaurant, you need a fancy uh, this or that, they tell us that they want a church, they want a school, they want a community center, they want uh, a water borehole, uh, a community shower, they want things done that is going to be uh, a blessing to them in ways that we won't dictate, but we will come alongside of them and roll up our sleeves and serve with them in uh, a week long or or longer period of time to uh, help them get these projects done. So World Servants has been in 35 countries over these nearly 30 years and serving over 500 different communities uh, along the way. And it's, uh, it's because of the work, the hands and feet of more than 60,000 people that were able to, to do these things. And, uh, and we're excited that this kind of an event, what we, we, we are calling Serving Joy All Over the World, allows us to expose at least the Twin Cities community to a larger uh, understanding of what it is that, that uh, we are doing and how they can support it, either through their prayers, uh, by uh, giving financially, or by going themselves. Well, I'll tell you, you've got a great plan, uh, concert planned, and uh, we've got one of your two artists that's really awesome, Mike, with us in the line and we, we now have John, Johnny Diaz, whose heartwarming music has been played across the country. Uh, he wrote More Beautiful You. He's won the ASCAP Music Award in 2010. 2010 is one of the most performed Christian songs of all the year. He has so many awards, he'll have to have an extension on his house. But he is going to be <laughs> one of the key guests for music on uh, next Thursday at Grace Church uh, for the World Servants Christmas Concert. Uh, which I think is going to be exciting because they're calling the concert Serving Joy All Over the World. Boy, is that true. So, uh, hey, welcome, Johnny. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. Here's Johnny. Uh, hey, Johnny. Um, <laughs> what, what, now, you're, you're going to have the concert next Thursday. What are you going to be bringing to the, to the, the uh, you know, Grace Church Needing Prairie at the 7 p.m. concert that's going to make everybody want to come because they're going to rock and roll there? <laughs> Well, you know, me and my acoustic guitar are, are pretty pu- pretty far from loud rock and roll, but uh, we're going to bring uh, some stories, some songs, hopefully some laughs, and just a good time. You know, my goal is not necessarily to put on a show, but instead just to provide an opportunity for, for uh, God to work through the songs that he's laid on my heart, songs like more beautiful you and beauty of the cross and other songs like that just kind of telling the stories behind those songs where they come from hopefully giving people an encouragement in their walk with the lord but also a challenge um and that's what the whole night is all about well i'm talking to johnny diaz who's a great musician and singer and i've also got mike minich with uh the organization that is sponsoring this great concert and world servants and uh Hey, Mike, how can they get tickets for the concert next Thursday? I know we're going to be giving away a couple of them here, but I know a lot more people are going to want to buy them and get hold of them. So how do they do that? Well, you know, in this 21st century world, it's simple as going to worldservant.org, and uh, you'll see the the information about the event on our homepage, and they can click on uh, Buy Tickets Now 
Uh, obviously, they can call us directly on our 612-866-0010 number as well, and we'll be, be glad to facilitate that. There's, As you know, with a, an event like this, there's lots of room in that facility. There's 4,300 seats, and with Johnny's uh, blessings and what he brings to share this Christmas season and, of course, his uh, uh, other uh, partner, if I can call him that, uh, on that evening anyways, is illusionist Justin Flom. Uh, it's going to be a great night for uh, both the gospel to be advanced and for people to really uh, relax and enjoy the season that we're celebrating. When, as Michael said, the concert's next Thursday, December 18th at 7 p.m. Actually, excuse me, I misspoke. 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., excuse me, at Grace Church, the, which is... The, the core of it, uh, Paul, does start at 7. There's, there's some pre-event activities and some uh, food and beverages for certain uh, folks that might want to enjoy that prior to the event. But, yeah, the actual concert will begin at 7. Well, Mike, it's a great facility. Grace Church, I think, has one of the most spectacular musical venues, great sight lines, beautiful church facility, and... Uh, you know, uh, Johnny, it's a great place to perform. You know, how has your music success over the past 10 years affected you and your walk with the Lord? You have been very, very successful. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, you know, I think the biggest thing is to, to never let, the biggest thing I've learned is to never let uh, serving God replace knowing God. And, and that's easy to do when uh, you're playing a lot of concert dates and traveling all over the country. Um, I think in uh, 2010, when my song, More Beautiful You, came out, um, I played almost 150 concerts that year, and most of them were flying concerts. So a lot of those took two days just to do one show because I had to fly home. So, you know, almost 300 days out on the road, and um, it's easy to get the feeling of, you know, well, I'm, I'm using almost all of my time to serve God, so I don't necessarily need to spend a lot of time with God, because, you know, he and I should be tight. Um, and that's a dangerous spot to, to fit into. Um, and so I, for, for a couple of years, I feel like that, that happened with me in my ministry, where I was so focused on serving God that I, I kind of let knowing God and resting in God and just spending time with God in silence and in peace and in tranquility and all those, those things, uh, I, I just kind of let that fall to the wayside. So that's, that's the main thing that I've learned um, through doing music and being able to play as many concerts as I have. Well, you know, last question for you, we're running out of time, and I want to talk about the concert a little bit more, too. But, uh, you know, more recently, your song, Thank God I Got Her, has also stimulated a lot of smiles among your old and new fans for a bass. Tell us about how, what the story is behind that song. Um, you know, I, I'm married to a wonderful girl named Libby. She's actually pregnant right now with our first uh, baby girl, so we're so excited about that. And um, Libby is amazing, uh, but as any married guy can say, um, I don't understand my wife at all. She does so many things that confuse me. And so I wanted to write a song um, about all of the things that she does that confuse me, but I, I found a way to kind of put a positive spin on it. So at the end of every chorus it says, I might not get her, but thank God I got her. And so I wrote that song, um, and it kind of ended up almost being a country song. And um, it was funny how God used it to open doors to a whole new audience and, and some new listeners. And, and uh, it was just funny to get a lot of the social media people saying, oh, my goodness, I, I bought your whole CD. I had no idea you were a Christian artist because of you know, this song. So hopefully it was good exposure for the gospel and for my music and everything. And uh, it's just a fun song that people can relate to. Well, Johnny, you could also call it, Got a Good Woman, Don't Let Her Go. So, uh, Johnny, you got a good woman. <laughs> hey, um, Mike, again, I just want to encourage all of you. Uh, Johnny Diaz is going to be at the concert next Thursday, 7 to 9 at Grace Church in Eden Prairie. And you can go to worldservants.org, worldservants.org, uh, to look and order your tickets. You can also call, if you have any questions, uh, give World Servants a call, 612-866-0010, 612-866-0012. And, uh, Michael, there's still great seats available, aren't there? Very, uh, yeah, they're excellent seats, and uh, there'll be seats undoubtedly the night of the event. So, uh, uh, thankfully, we've got some great December weather 
that uh, isn't necessarily boding well for our white Christmas, but at least it won't uh, freeze us out as it almost did last year when we had Sarah Groves. Wow, and also uh, joining Don- Johnny Diaz is going to be a ter- terrific Christian illusionist, Justin Flom, and I'm going to have him on the program in just a few minutes. So, hey, guys, Merry Christmas. Johnny, Merry Christmas to you and your wife and your upcoming baby. Praise the Lord. And, Mike, to your ministry, and we'll look forward to the concert next Thursday night. Thanks so much, Paul. Hey, thank you. God bless. God bless. God bless. Hey, Merry Christmas, Paul Ridgeway. Hey, I've always loved magic. In fact, have even performed it to groups and parties over the years, but our next guest is a superstar of magic and performs all over the world, and his name is Justin Flom. He loves the Lord, grew up and he died, has done illusion magic for years uh, to the point that you know he has just practiced and gone to two dozen countries and presented the gospel all over. And he's going to be in the Serving Joy All Over the World concert next Thursday, December 18th, and going to be participating. We'll talk about that, but uh, Justin... Merry Christmas. Hey, how you doing? Merry Christmas to you, Paul. How are you? Great. Well, I met you a couple years ago, and it was just really a privilege. And I, I do love magic, but you're in the Super League. I was okay. in the Minor League. But uh, tell us about <laughs> tell us about the concert next Thursday at 7 p.m. at Grace Church. And its theme is Serving Joy All Over the World, and it's for world servants. Uh, but tell us what you're going to be doing. Oh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. You know, we get to do magic uh, all over the country, but it's so much fun to come back to my hometown, and actually Grace Church is my home church, uh, and I grew up performing magic uh, on missions trips with Grace Church all over the world, and and it's so much fun to be able to come back and share kind of the new magic that we've been working on uh, for television and that we, we've done uh, here in Las Vegas back in my hometown. So we'll be doing new magic, bringing people on stage, making them a part of the magic. should be a blast. Well, I know you've got so much fun, and uh, you know you've been on the Ellen Show, the Today Show, Sci-Fi Cable, Wizard Wars, everywhere in Las Vegas. So, what compels you to go to this event and to present the gospel? Well, you know, it's it's the way I was raised. My surprisingly, my dad was a magician, and my uncle was a magician. So, I was raised in a magic family. But we didn't just go and do magic shows. Our mantra, our motto, was. Use magic to catch people's eyes so they listen with their ears so God could touch their heart. In the same way that Jesus would use parables, we would use magic as an object lesson so I'd be able to illustrate the gospel or other lessons using a magic trick. And because of that, the object lesson and the truth would be very clear, very apparent in, uh, in whatever the lesson is that I'm teaching. And that was a lesson that I took all the way through to now even in even in settings where I'm not presenting a clear gospel message, but I'm presenting, you know, just an inspirational truth. And that's an important thing uh, that I learned overseas doing missions trips, just like, uh, just like Grace Church does. Amen. Well, you know, I, and I'm talking to Justin Flom, terrific magician, who's going to be performing next Thursday, December 18th at 7 p.m. at Grace Church for uh, World Servants. They're, they've got a concert called mm-hmm. Serving Joy All Over the World. And it's going to be awesome because it's going to be with him and uh, uh, Johnny Diaz. And just, uh, man, it's a great concert and a lot more. And we are going to right now give away. Boy, I tell you, we're giving away a lot of stuff here uh, today, Justin. I mean, this is like Christmas time. We love it. You know, we can do this. But right now, uh, one winner is going to receive two Artist Circle tickets, great seats, to the second annual World Servants Christmas Concert which is entitled Serving right. Joy All Over the World. It's going to be next Thursday, December 18th, from 7 to 9 at Grace Church in Eden Prairie. And the night includes illusions by, of course, Justin Flom, and also heartwarming music by Johnny Diaz. And uh, your Artist Circle tickets will include pre-show hors d'oeuvres, wow, from 6 to 7, preferred seating, and a special meet and greet after the show. This is a pretty VIP. So, And by the way, if any yeah, else... Want, you know what? You, I, we, love, we love those sorts of things because... We get to share magic with people up close, and that's that's some of my favorite stuff to do. Well, we're gonna, you know, and if if you don't win, if you don't win these pair of tickets, for further tech and information, you can go to worldservants dot org, worldservants dot org on your computer. But right now, uh, I'm gonna let you magically, Justin, pick number what caller should win this really VIP packets of two tickets for next Thursday's seven p.m. concert. I think we want caller number eleven. Okay, caller number 11. If you call and you don't win, just call back. Uh, but caller number 11, That's 651-289-4499. Right. 
little magic in your fingers there, folks. 651-289-4499. And the 11th Good caller luck. will win because you're going to get, man, VIP seating, private uh, reception before hors d'oeuvres, also a meet and greet uh, with the artist. And it's the magician, uh, boy, I'll tell you, Justin Flom's awesome. And Johnny Diaz's music. And uh, the Christmas concerts at Grace are phenomenal. So 11th caller, just give us a call. You're going to win those. Terrific pair of VIP seats, 651-289-4499. And by the way, whoever wins, they will be at Will Call under your name at Grace Church. But, boy, that VIP seating is right in front. Good seats. Um, a question for you. Now, do you prepare yeah. new material for every every show like you're doing next Thursday? Do you add new stuff to your show? I do. I love to add new things. We'll be trying out a brand-new piece of magic uh, there at the show because we do so much stuff on, on TV and on, online uh, that we need new material all the time. So getting on stage live in front of real people, that's the best way to test out uh, brand new magic. And sometimes it's awesome, sometimes it's just weird, it's, but it's always really entertaining. Well, I tried to you know, when I was doing magic years ago. I had my mother-in-law, I cut her in half, she had a split personality after that. But have you ever had any uh, damages at all during... <laughs> During a show at all, have you ever had any uh, embarrassing moments, or is it pretty flawless? Last week, just last week, we had, I had a wine glass on stage that I was going to put something in for a magic trick, just a nice uh, set piece, this wine glass, and it shattered. I knocked it over. It shattered in my hands, and I cut myself open on stage. I'm bleeding everywhere. Oh, wow. And I was performing for a room full of cardiologist doctors. <laughs> <laughs> I asked, I said, is there a doctor in the house? Uh, and the funny thing is, the, the very next trick I had to do, I needed to borrow a $20 bill from the audience. And I said, I need to borrow a $20 bill and a Band-Aid. <laughs> certainly, somebody had one, but part of the next trick was me bandi- bandaging up my finger as I've cut myself open on stage. Absolutely not planned. Are you okay now, though? <laughs> I'm okay now. Everything everything was just fine. Uh wasn't too serious, but it was serious enough that... I had to stop the show for a minute uh, and just kind of have a real moment with the audience. But that's what I love about live entertainment is every performance is different and unique. You'll never see the same performance twice because well, they, you'll never have the same group of people together twice. Well, you can say that Justin Flom is a cut up on stage. And by the way, we got swamped with calls, Justin, for <laughs> that pair of VIB tickets. And you know what? The winner is Troy in Plymouth, and Troy's a great guy at BSF Administrator. But those are really, man, these are great seats right up front, VIP seating, hors d'oeuvres. You get to meet all of you. Uh, Troy, your tickets will be at the Will Call. It's uh, 7 p.m. to 9, but your VIP stuff starts at 6, and they will be at Will Call under your name. So make sure you you do that all right, and you'll have two tickets here. It's going to be fun. And make sure that you give them a nice hug, Justin, because Troy's a good guy. That's right. Hey, Looking forward uh, to meeting you, Troy. Well, we've only got two minutes left, so I, I just really got to go quick. I, I, I really want to yeah. tell people that this is a terrific concert. It's it's called it's for World Servants, and it's called their Serving Joy All Over the World Christmas event. And it is next Thursday, December 18th at Grace Church in Eden Prairie, and it goes from 7 to 9. And you can go to servants.org, servants.org for more information if you want to buy tickets. And you can also call, if you don't have a computer, if you have questions, uh, give them a call, 612-866-0010, 612-866-0010, or go to servants.org. But it's going to be a terrific concert. And, and not only that, it's not just a concert, it's also Justin Flom doing terrific illusion, Christian illusion, and he's got a great personality, loves the Lord, and it, it really is fantastic. So, hey, Justin, Merry Christmas to you and your family. You're you going to be in a diner this year Merry for Christmas? Merry Christmas to you. You're going to be in a diner for again? Christmas? Are you going to be in a diner? I will. I home uh, for a little bit of time, and then for Christmas Day, we spend that in Florida on the beach. We're, we're ditching the cold weather. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that's not bad. You'll be disappearing, literally. So, uh, hey, Merry Christmas, right. friend. Merry Christmas.